Morning, people. I think oh, I might have to be. Mr. B's got toothache. Mr. B won't see a dentist. No. Mm. We've Pull just um, yeah, we've just dropped Oliver off at school, and I've got to pop to Argos and get a Fitbit strap because my Fitbit broke. I've got my hand stuck ah, in the. Why? <laughs> we've got an external mailbox because Milo likes to chew post, and I put my hand in instead of because I, I just couldn't be asked to put the key in. <laughs> so I put my hand in to take the letters out, and I got my arm stuck. In the <laughs> Proper stuck, <laughs> and I ripped my watch. Oh my god! So we've got to get a new Fitbit on. Oh, that's funny. And then I've got to go home, eat some food, and uh, I've got to pop to the shop first. And then I've got to go home, eat some food, pack some orders, and then we've got a food shopping delivery because we've established the fact that we're absolutely useless at making sure we have things ready because we get so consumed with work that we just forget. Yeah. So we've got a food shopping delivery today and just we've got to purchase some more shop fitting stuff. Actually, I'm going to go to Home Sense. We're going to go to Home Sense. <laughs> no, no expert, but that doesn't look good to me. It's actually lifting the blocks up. Wow. Yeah. We're going to Hope Sense. Oh, I love Wilco as well. Oh, I need to buy some uh, white paint, but the pink white paint. That oh, yeah, the Dulux pink to white. Yeah, I didn't want to say it because I ended up saying never one. Do you know, we've just found a quote and it's, um, it's pretty much sums up it me. Does sum up. Yeah, look. She designed a life she loved. I couldn't do my initial love, could I? Because no. of my health. Correct. So I moved it and designed a new life that I love. We're having it. The office. shop is insane. Andrew points at everything. He's like, should we get that? Do we need that? Should we buy that? Do we need that? That would work. That's a bit imposing, that one, but I like the other one. That one. Yeah, that might work, mightn't it? Yeah, I think so. Um. Looking for our bedroom. Sorry, I've just got the vlog on. We were just popping in for a look. Mm-hmm. That's what we always say. Oh, look at that dash hound. Our weather is so weird. Up there, you've got like horrible dark grey clouds. And then there, you've got blue sky. And then there, you've got horrible dark grey clouds twisted and turning. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Bedroom update. <laughs> So we've got this bit here. The door's looking rather swish. I keep my favourite nails that I peeled off over here. Uh, the new mirror on the wall, look at that. And then over there, obviously, that bit's still got to be finished. Then you've got this mirror, hello. And then we've now got one of our pictures up here. So it's just this back wall to sort out now. Actually, the whole place needs painting, hello, everything needs painting again because they've got marks on everything, everything needs painting again. If that's what you're doing. You're a bloody messy worker. <laughs> this is what we picked up for Oliver now. I honestly don't know if he's going to be able to use them, but he's always wanted bath bombs. He watches ASMR, he likes the whispering noises and he watches people do bath bombs. Well, this is Manuka Honey and Lemon and they say that it's free from artificial colours, no harsh chemicals. So... We're hoping it might be all right for his skin, but this is a kid who can't use soaps at all. So we'll see. I'll put a little bit in, see if he reacts. Um, won't put a whole one in though, not chancing it. Morning, vloggy world. So do you remember we bought these yesterday in HomeSense? Well, the sunlight's coming through this morning and it's been like bouncing off these and projecting the colors around. And this one is insane, look at it. So beautiful. Stunning. <laughs> this is my morning face. Uh, what's today? I always say that. It's Tuesday and I can't remember what I've got to do. Apart from packing orders. I've got a film. Oh, I haven't even planned a design. Oh. 
and I've got some assignments to mark from my beginners uh, courses and hopefully a certificate to hand out to my first beginner first one to qualify through beauty me if you're doing a course through beauty me when you look at the course and it says footage time two hours or three hours or whatever that's not how long the course is do not be deceived you have to work hard at each and every level and the reason for that is that i do not want to send you out into the world of nails knowing bugger all so each section is a small section but then you have to do assignments and then practical assignments on top and i've read well i think my first lady's taking about three weeks to pass i think um some take longer doesn't matter as long as you know your stuff you can pass hello good morning just going to go to school. What day is it, Oliver? Do you remember? The day after Monday. That's Tuesday. And what's this yes, week? Do you know what this week is? Yes, week. Uh -huh, last week of school before your half term holiday. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling this morning? A bit more awake? Yeah, good. I have a broken foot. It's not broken. I Straight. You fell over at school yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, it's all hurting. Yeah, but you just had some medicine. Then it's not swollen, it's not bruised, it's just a sprained ankle. It's definitely going to still hurt today. And if it does, I'm blaming you. I'm <laughs> okay. blaming you. Okay. Not you, Cameron, but you. Okay. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. I feel really stupid today because I've not put my makeup on. I feel naked. I feel awful. Oh dear. Don't like That's it. Not good, is it. I keep looking at myself thinking something's missing. It's my face. My face is missing. <laughs> it's is it Tuesday? It yes, is Tuesday. it's Tuesday afternoon. And we've been busy moving around the stock and office space today and packing orders. And then when we get we're just waiting to pick Oliver up from school and then when we get home, I've got to do a live on I haven't decided whether it's gonna be Facebook, TikTok or Instagram. Yeah, I can't decide. Um, and then I'm going to film and I can't decide whether to do 3D acrylic flowers or one stroke flowers. I'm still deciding that. As well. I'm very indecisive today. I'm having a very indecisive day. Good morning. Um, it's Wednesday. Whenever I think I scratch my nose, this is a habit I've noticed. When I think what I'm going to say, I scratch my nose. I go, uh... And it's like that triggers my brain to go think, think. Let's see how many people are old and they remember a character called Mr. Majika. Did Oliver smack you in the face today and with it, your glasses? Yeah. And, and he, you've got a bruised nose. Look. And, um, oh yeah. And he had a little laughing like that. What, when he was thinking? Yeah, Mr. Majika, just a few bits of that. So this is, this is Oliver this morning. Lost his shit because Andrew said, Oliver, don't put your dirty hands on the walls clean your hands right so oliver went like that to your face or something and you've now got mm -hmm. a nasty bruise there it's because you went out crunch tried to grab my glasses these are the things that obviously we're not going to whip a phone out if he's in the middle of an episode and we don't have cameras everywhere so you don't see that this is the sort of thing we're dealing with and funnily enough somebody put on the autism awareness page any other people struggling with their children because of the moon mm. Lunar yeah, mood swings, lunar anyone mood. else's kids get them? Or And lunar insomnia? That's why they used to call it lunacy. That's correct. My granddad was affected by the moon. Unaffected We're by all, all our sleep patterns go funny. Um, yeah, so I'm just about to put together a new mix for you guys, as requested by you guys. So I'm going to start working on that this morning. Then I'm going to film how I protect my nails when I do press-ons. Because look, they're growing. I do press-ons like twice a week. I, I use a not press on nails, peel off extensions. And then um, I'm gonna film a new design and then I'm gonna film how I remove them. Oh, look at the subtle changes here. That was in the salon. Some the back of it was a bit water damaged, but it's salvageable. The table, I'll show you. So as you walk in now, the table's here into the uh, bay window and our nice new bottles are there. Then you've got the printer over there, the stock. Obviously, we can't fill any more of that up until the shop fitting stuff arrives because we haven't got any more hooks. Um, and we've got more, loads more stuff to put up. Then you've got a little shelf here that Andrew's just popped a couple of bits on. 
Then you've got this, which is storing like office equipment and stuff. Then you've got Andrew's corner here. This is the next bit to change. So that will be going, but we might turn it into something for our boxes. And then this is all going to be changed very, very soon, like by the end of this week. It just gives us way more space. Um, and it means when I'm working in the daylight, it's so much nicer. And it makes the room look big, doesn't it, Milo? Do you think? Look at his little bat legs, look. They're nearly gone, aren't they, bud? The vet said he's a bloody marvellous dog. He's clinging on to those, the use of his bat legs so well. So there, oh, there's my granddad, look. There's my paps. <laughs> it's thanks to him we have all this now. So, yeah. Hello. Hello. Beautiful boy. Mummy specials. Oh, you love a good scratch, don't you? Do you want to see my outfit for the day? What? What's the matter? I've gone grungy today. Look. Got him, got my levers on. I got out the car off from the school run. Andrew went, oh, leather lady. What's, look at this. What's the matter? What's the matter? Oh, dear. Oh. oh, he can't jump anymore. He used to just jump up. Do you want more loves? Do you want more lovies? Have you had your medicine? Have you had your medicine? Come on then, let's go and get your medicine. All right, come on then. Hello. Hello. Hello, Miss B. Hello, Miss May. Just waiting for Oliver. Uh, did these today? They're very pretty. They're very pretty, aren't they? They are really nice, yeah. They sparkle, man. Look. Can you see it on the screen? Pretty Alinas. They are. It's nice today, the weather is. Yeah, it's turned out really good. Yeah, actually, it? got washing on the line. <gasps> what do you know? Um, got a bit of a headache, though. I did my nails, these, and my neck straight away after was like twang. Oh, look at my hair. <laughs> look at my hair. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, it, oh God. It, um, it's going all down my arm and up into my jaw and up into my head. It's bloody annoying. But you know, I'm old. So that's what you get when you're old. That's what you get. We had to literally drag Oliver to school today. Wasn't happy again. <clears throat> no particular More reason. Kiddies. I know. Well, I was talking to his Senko and she said they get like fatigued at this point of the year. It's they get the really term, exhausted yeah. and they've got half term next week. And she said he just needs a long break. That's what he needs. Um, yeah, so I just can't stop looking at these nails. <laughs> to be fair, they're so beautiful. I'll tell you, the shop fitting stuff's coming tomorrow. Yes, shop fitting stuff's coming tomorrow. And we've created the new crystal mix. I'm going to try and get that launched tonight because I'm too excited. Yeah, it's and all done now, isn't it? Yeah, and then either tomorrow or Friday, we have a huge stock delivery come in. And soon I'm waiting for another delivery as well of all the new brushes. Yeah. The Gerald's and George's and Doris's and Horace's. That's a big delivery. So I don't know when that's coming yet. It's mahoosive. And that's about it. Um, yeah. I don't know what else we're doing this week apart from working. I'm doing my mum's nails tomorrow. I'm going I've... to the jungle. The jungle? Locally known as the garden. Oh, yeah. Got to get the garden done for half term next week. Got yeah. a bit of acrylic hanging off my nail. Uh and um oh, you get to see joe yeah you'll get to see more joe and here's a weird fact that we were discussing today since i've had covid i eat spicy food now before i had covid the hottest food i would eat was a super mild korma wasn't more it like a yogurt yeah no <laughs> basically no spice and we went to nando's years ago and i had the mildest one which is like the lemony one and it was spicy to me just for your information we have been back since we didn't just go once ago Ugh. Yeah, no, but I could never have the spice, could I? Ever, ever, ever. Just, I'd oh, have nothing. No. Years ago. I, yeah, I went there once. Um, yeah, I'd have nothing at all on it. And no spice, never, ever. And now, I love spice. 
I love spice. I just, I can't, it doesn't. Do Hang on. I don't think you should be saying that. Spice is something else. Oh my God, it's a drug, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought I wonder why that person walked past. Like, looking funny. <laughs> oh, oh my life. So, so old. Oh. Yeah. I love eating spicy food. <laughs> I had a king prawn chilli thing this morning. Uh, this, for lunchtime today. And it was oh. gorgeous. I didn't t taste any spiciness to it at all whatsoever. Oh, nothing. So Taking a mickey at me. <laughs> I'm sure you said you were addicted to spice. So I love spice. Oh, just the look you got off that, that lad that walked past. <laughs> That's it, room is found the school the now. <laughs> yeah, I've got any. What? Oh. Spice? Yeah, i got some chilli powder in the boot. Do you want it? <laughs> That's about it though for our week. We're just waiting for deliveries. New stock being launched. Trying to get Oliver to finish the week at school. He loves learning maths and he loves doing his English and he loves sciencey things, but he hates everything else. So in his opinion, he could just pop in for three hours, do the essential work and then come home. And he keeps asking me to tell them, my son's only coming to school for three hours. I said, I don't think that's gonna work, mate. Then he asked us to homeschool him, didn't he? Mm. How can we homeschool and run a business? It's not possible. And to be honest, he wouldn't do anything anyway. We'd go, Oliver, it's time to do your maths. And he'd go, in a minute, I'm on Minecraft. <laughs> Couldn't he? Something like that. Like, no, no, no. Please, mate. Same, he didn't do too bad last time when he homeschooled in when he was off. He loved he it. He engaged quite He did well. like it. That's what's triggered it. During COVID, I, I homeschooled and he, uh, he really loved it. Really, really loved it. But it was hard work, wasn't it? I had all this printing, all this paperwork, lesson plans. Oh my God. Never stuck to any of it. Highlight of his day. Zoom calls with the teachers. Yeah, he had a Zoom call for 20 minutes every day, which I had to bribe him to do. And then he wouldn't speak to her. She's like, hello, Oliver, how are you? And he was like, meh. He just closed the uh, MacBook. She used to close it. Or he used to hide under the desk. Yeah. Are you still there, Oliver? Should we go in? Yeah, I can see you. I'm thinking you've got the patience of a saint because I'd be like that. Sit up. <laughs> he was naughty. But he's just so adorable with it. It's incredibly difficult to get angry at him, isn't it? He's a cheeky chap, eh? Oh, I've had loads of messages about one-to-ones. Once I get the shop up and running a bit more and get all this new stock fitted and done and things are a little bit more organized because basically what's happened is things have grown a lot quicker than i anticipated therefore it's like i'm not prepared for it so we've got to be prepared for it so once that's all in order then i'm going to look at being able to do more one-to-ones but we'd probably have to do it in the actual little shops so you'd just be staring at all the little pretty things around um because i don't have an external premises anymore but that's all right you could just come chill at my house yeah so I will get round to it and I will let everybody know once they're up and running. Go on then, tell me your joke. Okay, forget first. <gasps> <What? laughs> <laughs> He's ham slapping! <laughs> oh my life! Oliver, you can't do that! You got ham slapped! I got punched! <laughs> Milo loves a bit of ham. <laughs> Good morning. It's 5 a.m. <sighs> On Thursday morning, I've been up since about four with Oliver. And I'm just sat in bed. <laughs> um, checking through my view to me assignments to see if I've got to mark any more work and replying to YouTube comments. I thought, well, I'm up, so I may as well work or something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, early start today. <sighs> All right, so Mr. B's uh, been shopping again. It's like eight o'clock in the it's morning. Shiny. It's just arrived. Shiny like my forehead. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Da, 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 da. <laughs> We're doing something we haven't done 
oh my god I don't even know how long very very long time because of covid we used to do this quite often and we've sort of stayed away because the weather's been so crap but we are going out for breakfast my hair's a state i meant to wash it last night and i got in the bath and oliver had used all the hot water and i sat in a cold bath soaked for a bit and then got out basically um i wasn't a big girl enough to just wash my hair in a bit of cold water yeah so you saw all the shop fitting stuff has arrived and my new gel racking has arrived as well so we've got more of that to put up um what was it i said to you this morning i want to learn how to put holes in a wall so i can put my racking up and you looked at me and went if you want to put holes in the wall you're doing the wrong job my love yeah you can. <laughs> today i'm going to put holes in the wall with a pickaxe yeah that doesn't sound promising does it no. so yeah we're going to go out for breakfast i'm going to see what's on the menu and i'm going to try and avoid all my favorite foods that are naughty and try and do something healthy will i succeed that is the question or will i fail and binge my face off. Who knows? Oh, oh, another thing. Um, we've got nice weather. Oh, I don't know if you can see. Can you see? Look at that. Lovely weather. It's going to be 18 degrees today. Oh, going to get sorry, washing sorry. on the line. Oh. So get the kids to mow the lawn. Never would happen. Oliver calls it a jungle. I'm going in the jungle. <sighs> That's because it looks like a jungle. But that's because we left it. We didn't. We were going to land. Didn't know what we're going to do. So we were like, right, until we know what we're doing with this, someone's gone in with a clipboard and a bag. Oh, that'd be a rep. I'm from Britvic. Buy more Pepsi. <laughs> Your face was funny. Right, let's go get some food. <gasps> from our little outing this morning and now it is time to ignore the mess in the kitchen and Jordan wants a new hair colour because the pink's come oh, out. I'm bored of it. You're bored of your, your pink's kind of faded, hasn't it now? Mm -hmm. So we're going red. Pillar box, it's actually called pillar box red. When I was at school, I, I used to get in trouble so much for having pillar box red hair all the time. My makeup is a shambles because I did it in less than 10 minutes this morning. So I look a mess. I've just had a delivery of all the uh, unicorn brushes. So I've restocked and we've got two new colours as well, two new members of the family. One's called JJ, the other one we haven't named yet. So they'll be up on the website by the end of today. Ah! Oh yeah, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You look good. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Good morning. It is Friday morning and I'm having snuggles with the kitty who still thinks the blanket is her mummy. Even though she's a big girl now and old enough to have babies herself. But she still does this every now and again. So cute. These nails have been on three days with peel off base coat. And I've really enjoyed them. You like these ones, don't you, Mr. B? Yeah, so yeah, I've got a ton of orders for the AB mix to pack today. And in true Sarah style, I wasn't prepared. So I've got to bag them all up today, <laughs> rather than uh, my picking and packing thing that I was gonna do. Kind of got distracted by all the orders, uh, all the deliveries yesterday. You're so to you're going back to daddy. Wait, this is our snuggly morning. It's nice. So yeah. These are going to come off today. I'm going to miss them. They're very beautiful. Ooh, Mr. B's corner's looking rather posh. My corner's a bloody mess. I've got hardly any stock up because it's all in boxes. That's right. It's yeah. looking good. I've got all that to sort out down there, yeah. I've got all that stuff behind you. I don't know what stuff. Uh-oh. I've got another, like, tons of boxes to sort out, yeah. <laughs> and behind me... Gerald and his family, we've put a few up on display. There's a couple of new colours. We've still got to get all their... Marketing jargon. Yeah, their card is done and stuff. I have a huge headache. Oh. Got a meeting this morning. It's quite impressive the weather today, really. Yeah. It's quite heavy, isn't it? Got a meeting this morning and then it will be time to 
pack a bunch of orders because you guys have like got really excited about the um, AB mix that's just launched. Still got these on, look. They're coming off today. Um, but I use the peel off base coat and they've lasted three days. That's really good. They'll probably stay on a few more, to be honest, but uh, yeah, I've got a headache. So I've got to go do this meeting, then come back, and then I need to get changed first. This is not meeting attire. And then um, pack your orders and get ready. I've got another crystal delivery today. I had one yesterday, I got another one today. And then I have tens and tens of thousands of crystals to sort out and get on the website. It's going to be insane. It's going to be madness. Yeah. All those will be full, put it that way, and some. Every hook. Friendly, friendly. What are you singing, Oliver? Renegade. What were you singing first? Born in the house, born in the house. Born in the house and he's in the house board, so he's doing a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle yeah, that's a cottage. Yeah. Gives me something to do while I've broken my leg. You haven't broken and... it, but it is poorly. <laughs> You're still sending me to school. Well, shame yes. on you. <laughs> shame <laughs> on you. To clarify, he sprained his ankle. And we did send him to school. You did not break your leg. No, you didn't break your leg. You're running up and down the stairs there when I said McDonald's. Yeah. And now he's doing a 500 piece jigsaw puzzle. Good morning. I'm looking like this because the light's Hello. on the ceiling. And if I do this, it looks really scary. So I'll do that. Um, good morning, it's Saturday morning. Hello. I'm I'm ready for work. Because today Disha. I'm just staying in the office, packing orders and making up tens of thousands of crystals because we and have so many products launching it is stupid and um, i'm working on a one i'm working on a five thousand five hundred piece jigsaw puzzle of an old cottage in the snow please help me <laughs> send I've help to do. oliver's working on his jigsaw puzzle well you might go out with nanny later and pappy if they're feeling oh. well enough <laughs> mm, i'm excited um I love. We've got a lot of launches that are going to be going on over the next, I'd say, over the next month, conservatively, because it's probably going to take that long to sort everything out. Um. <laughs> Misha, stop it! Oh my god, the cat. I don't know if you guys have TikTok, but I just hit 10,000 followers on TikTok. Apparently that means I'm a, get a creator fund. I don't think that's really worth anything, to be fair. But It's worth one pound. It's probably, probably not even worth that, darling. Risha, what the heck are you doing? Um, she's dangerously close to the wax melt. Oh, don't you love kittens? She's okay, by the way. She's absolutely fine. The stuff, not so good. Not so good. That was that was bagged, lined up stock. Uh, that she's just decided to climb on and flip the tray over. I just want to chuck her somewhere. <laughs> In the I, bin? I'm going to sell her. <laughs> sell her on eBay like dad's toes? eBay? <laughs> What's eBay? Don't you mean Tobay? Tobay. <laughs> Meow Bay. <laughs> to Tobin Bay. Oh, I've still got a headache. Tobin it's not Bay. as bad. Tobin Bay. Like Ollie right now. Okay. It's got a five percent discount. It was really bad last night, but um, it's not as bad this morning. What are you doing? I've got this urge to stick boogly doing? eyes on my microphone. What? Oh no! <laughs> I know just... what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> what are you going to do? I've got an idea. You can have loads of. <laughs> I've got an idea. Um. The first thing that Andrew will always use is his medication for his tremors. So uh, I've just got to get the freaking back off this thing. I'm not quite sure if it's a sticky boogly eye or what, or if I have to. Oh shit. I'm so happy I'm in nail tech. <laughs> I have loads of random stuff about the house and <laughs> double sided tape is Hello. Possible. Where did it go? No, no. Misha, the queen, the queen of fluff. The queen of fluff has arrived. Hell yeah, bum. Hell yeah, kitty. Hell yeah, kitty kitty. Okay. Okay. Here's the googly eyes. Yes. I'll put them in a safe. These are my googly eyes. Googly eyes? 
Okay. To make that, to make um dad want to open it more, we could just put some on tape over it. Because there's some on grey tape. It's not sticking to this, so we're going to have to put it on the label. No, that was a good idea though. It was, but it won't stick to the plastic. So. Can we just grab some glue? No. I don't have any of the right kind of glue. Well, I do, but I can't use it because it'll make me poorly, so. I have glue. But yeah, it's PVA glue. It's a little bit sloppy. Yeah. Because if we put it on, it'll dissolve okay. with the tablets. Okay. <laughs> if you don't know what happens to a tablet inside of your body, it dissolves. <laughs> There's one thing. What's next? Yeah, I'm gonna have my medicine. Do you need it? Is your ankle hurting? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. I've got ketchup. I hurt my ankle at school. I told them about that. Yeah, and they still made me do PE. Yeah. Shame on you, school. Shame. <sighs> I'm not going to say the school, but I know it begins with an E. You twisted your um, ankle. Yeah, basically, it kind of like twisted like that. Like, yeah. this is my foot right here. This is what it normally looks like. And then cook. And then when I dock, dock, dock. It did go over like that. And I've, and I've taken like, two of my own teeth out. And ripped my own toenail off because it's broken. So, so what I've do you mean? Your lot. ankles hurt more. Your ankle hurt more than that. Is that what yes, you're trying yes. to say? Yeah, but I can withstand lots. Yes. Lots and you lots. have a high pain threshold. Yeah. So basically, then. Um, so the school didn't realise it hurt you as much as it did because you don't really cry, do you? No, I don't really cry that much. You never have done, my darling. Yeah. I've only cried once in my life. You more cry when you're emotionally. Crying. Like frustrated and can't get your point across. Yeah. Right. This calls for a couple of... Here's the queen of flu. Here's the queen of flu. <laughs> oh, the, queen, the queen of the floor. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> So when he comes to get his medication, <laughs> and then we'll pop his deodorant <laughs> pop here the other next way to his watch. <laughs> so, so what we're going to do, instead of doing loads of things today with googly eyes, we're going to do those two, let him find them and think that's it. And then every day, some more will pop up and he'll wonder, were they already there? Or has somebody done it? We're just going to drive him, going to spend these school holidays driving him a little bit bonkers. Because of me being here 24 7. <laughs> I just take 24 7. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. <laughs> Do you know what's really nice? I'm just sat here packing orders. And because it's Saturday, it's not so busy on the roads because this is like the school run and commute big road outside our house. Although there's traffic now, every now and again, all the traffic stops and all I can hear is all the beautiful birds singing. And then a car comes, but it just makes me feel so at peace. And I think when I get my first um, business premises that's away from the house, I'd like it to be somewhere a little bit in the sticks. That might not be good, but I'd really like it so that I could open the office door and just hear birds. Because I think it would up my productivity. I've got so much to do, but I'm so buzzing and excited. I just, I honestly, I can't wait. Um, I mean, I've invested my inheritance in this business, so it better bloody work. But um, I'm sure my granddad's looking down going, yes. Um, it, I hope so anyway, God. Yeah, so much to do, but exciting, not like, not moaning, feeling really blessed, feeling really lucky and just happy. Hmm. Happy days. The office is coming on really well, isn't it? Look, I've got to put all the cards in there. I've got to replenish the stock again. Um, but like, there's Andrew's side. And then this is my side. <laughs> Hello, vloggy world. Um, it's Saturday tea time. <gasps> We're still at work. 
Um, we're still at work and Oliver went to a park. It's really cute actually. He was gonna go to the park with my parents and it was his favorite park and he always used to call it Batcher's Park after my mother-in-law because it was by where she used to live. She passed away in November. When it came time to go, he couldn't bring himself to go there which is felt fine. So they went to a different, um, like a country park. However, when they got there, there was a bloody fair there and he instantly froze because of the noise. Um, but they found a quiet area away from everybody and they went and fed the swans, which was nice. But when he came back, he just shut off, completely desensitized from everyone. Just take me away. I need to decompress and just chill. So he's been a bit quiet since then. Meanwhile, I'm sat here turning over crystals in order to take photographs for the website. Painstakingly turning over crystals and positioning them. It's, and we've got thousands and thousands to do. <laughs> but it's so pretty, bro, it's so gorgeous, we don't care. Hello everybody, it's Sunday morning. Is it Sunday morning? It is, isn't it? I yeah, so, Sunday yeah. morning. Um, Oh, we had a lion this morning. I didn't get till quarter past seven. That was well, Oliver was up at four, but he was just quiet, chilling. Um. So yes, um, on the agenda today, I want to try and actually get outside because I've been stuck in working and the weather is gorgeous. I don't even care if I'm just in the garden tidy. And to be honest, I'd rather be in the garden tidy and then going out where humans live and, and breathe. Uh, not because of germs, just because I don't like people. Um, but I uh, I don't know, I've got so much to do. So I think we'll probably just do some pottering in the garden and get the rest of the crystals started to get packed. <sighs> God, there's, always, there's already a couple of new ones on the website, but um, there's loads more to come. And I've got a package to put together for quite an important nail personality. Um, so I'm excited about that. It really, we haven't, I know it's not been a very exciting vlog, but it's a little look into our normal kind of week. Um, we've had hair dyeing, boogly eyes. Oh yeah, what did you think of the uh, boogly eyes, Mr B? Because uh, I never, I never got a chance to film your reaction because I was working. Yeah, it's probably like you, weren't they? Was it funny? Yeah. You put it, you put it on deodorant and all sorts of stuff. Deodorant and your chemodrin. <laughs> we've had hair colours this week. We've had big deliveries and shop fitting and this is a quiet week to us but you guys might think it's quite busy i don't know it was busy as in work wise but just like we didn't have much exciting stuff to show you so it's half term coming up and although we've got a lot of work to do we are going to make the effort to try and get out if oliver's ankles up to it we'll try and do more oh, try and do more getting out and about this week but it all depends oliver's ankles still sore but sprains and stuff i mean i was a bugger for falling over when i was a kid nobody knew that i had hip dysplasia not even the doctors so i was always falling over and hurting my ankles and they thought i had weak ankles and a sprain can like hurt for a long time he's he's up and about but it's just like he's, he's still sore and he's got a bit of a sensitive area where it you know he's obviously gone over on it so yeah we'll just see how he goes um I did the old NHS, if you're in the UK, you'll know what I mean by this, NHS 111 thing the other day, and you have to fill in all the answers and stuff, and uh, we've just been doing what they've said, which is keep it raised if he wants it raised, but try and tell a kid to sit still with their leg up. Pfft. They're not going to do it, are they? Sit, sit still, still with your leg up. <laughs> well, it's kind of He's been having Nurofen when he needs it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the fact that he went to the park yesterday means he's on the mend. He's just not there yet. But thank God he's not really a sociable kiddo. He'd rather, he'd rather stay home anyway, <laughs> unless he's with us. He, he wants to go to London. He keeps saying, please take me to London in the holidays. And we keep sort of trying to say to him, well, one, there's going to be a lot of walking. And two, he's never experienced the underground trains and the noise that comes from them. So maybe if towards the middle of the week he's a lot more energetic and his ankle's not sore then maybe we'll consider it but we've first we've got to desensitize him to the noise which means we've got to regularly sit down and watch tube trains and the noise that tube trains make 
to make sure he can cope with that. Because you can you imagine if we go down there, get there and we're on our way to like the Lego shop and he just freaks out on a tube. You can't get off. Well, you'd get off at the next stop, but we'd have to spend a fortune in taxis, London cabs. Oh, that would be expensive. Mind you, we've done it before when we couldn't be asked to get a tube, haven't we? I prefer just jumping in a black cab. Take me to the left. I need to get there by this time. It's a lot back. better than... Um, sit back and relax. Yeah, it is nice going in the old cabs because it's easy. So, yeah, that's it, really. I don't know. We never know what's around the corner because we have such a diverse family. We kind of make rough plans and see how it goes. Um, and that's it, I guess. We'll catch you in next week's vlog. Tally bye! Say bye, Mr B. Bye bye, Mr B. <laughs>